It was 1958, and the Cold War was heating up. Just one year before, with the launch of Sputnik, Russia had grabbed an early lead in the space race. And tensions between the world's two superpowers were ratcheting higher and higher. What no one could have predicted was the bridge that would soon be built by a 23-year-old American pianist named Van Cliburn. The six-foot-six Texan from Fort Worth found himself on stage in Moscow, unexpectedly winning the hearts and minds of Russian audiences, playing the music they both revered. The Soviet government organized that competition, Tchaikovsky International Music Competition, to show that they are superior in the culture as well, not only the military power. And then suddenly, the American is about to win. So the, the jury members, they were terrified. So terrified that they couldn't give him by themselves the, the, the prize. And they went to the Soviet leader, Nikita Khrushchev, to ask whether they could give him the first prize. It was famous, you know, what Nikita said. He said, is he the best? Yes, then give him the prize. Victorious, Van Cliburn returned home to a ticker tape parade, the cover of Time magazine, a visit to the White House, and a constant barrage of questions about our counterparts on the other side of the world. They are very warm individuals. They love very strongly. As a matter of fact, I couldn't refrain from telling them that they're very much like Texans. If a Texan likes something, he'll tell you, and if he doesn't, he'll certainly let you know. Packed concert halls and the first million-selling classical recording soon followed. In 1962, the Van Cliburn International Piano Competition was launched to nurture and reward the kind of musical talent from around the globe, which has continued to descend on Fort Worth every four years. Though his career took an intermission in 1978, Clyburn played for every president from Eisenhower on. Van Clyburn. In 2011, just two years before his death, he was awarded the National Medal of Arts by President Barack Obama who called him a persuasive ambassador of American culture. Mr. Clyburn, he said, has reached across political frontiers with the universal message of beautiful music.